And then there's just huge granulomas. Yeah, in a day or a week or what? what? And almost like in a, just a couple days. When you get a granuloma, which is a foreign body inflammatory reaction, that typically happens within six months to a year. The fa Hello and welcome to Weird Health News with the E-Z-E-N-W-A-N-Y-I.com. Yes, the Queen Boo. Foreign body granuloma, also known as a foreign body reaction, is a localized inflammatory response that occurs when the body reacts to the presence of a foreign object or substance. This condition commonly develops when a foreign material, such as a splinter, metal fragment, or medical implant, enters the body and triggers an immune response. The immune system recognizes the foreign object as a potential threat and initiates an inflammatory process to remove or encapsulate it. This process leads to the formation of a granuloma, which is a mass composed of immune cells, fibrous tissue, and sometimes, giant cells. The most common symptom is the presence of a localized swelling or lump. The affected area may also exhibit redness, tenderness, and pain. In some cases, there may be drainage or the formation of an abscess around the granuloma. Various foreign objects can trigger the formation of a granuloma. Splinters, shards of glass, surgical implants, or even certain cosmetic procedures can introduce foreign materials into the body. The presence of these foreign objects can provoke an immune response and initiate the granuloma formation process. When a foreign body granuloma is suspected, a healthcare professional will conduct a thorough physical examination and inquire about the patient's medical history. To confirm the diagnosis, additional tests may be necessary, such as imaging studies like X-rays, ultrasound, or MRI scans. In some cases, a biopsy may be performed to examine the granuloma tissue under a microscope. Treatment for foreign body granuloma typically involves removing the foreign object, if possible. This can be done through a minor surgical procedure, under local or general anesthesia, depending on the location and complexity of the granuloma. In cases where complete removal is not feasible, the granuloma may be drained or aspirated to relieve symptoms. After the foreign object is removed or drained, the body's inflammatory response gradually subsides, and the granuloma typically resolves over time. In some instances, anti-inflammatory medications or topical creams may be prescribed to alleviate pain and inflammation during the healing process. The outlook for foreign body granuloma is generally favorable, especially with prompt diagnosis and appropriate treatment. Most granulomas resolve completely without any long-term complications. However, in rare cases, complications such as infection, scarring, or recurrent granuloma formation may occur. In summary, foreign body granuloma is an inflammatory response that occurs when the body reacts to the presence of a foreign object or substance. It manifests as a localized swelling, redness, and pain. The condition can be caused by various foreign objects entering the body. Diagnosis involves a physical examination and diagnostic tests. Treatment usually involves surgical removal or drainage of the granuloma, leading to resolution and healing. The outlook is generally positive, but complications can occur in rare cases. After celebrating her 40th birthday, Dr. Gina Anderson felt like she wanted to look better. A colleague offered to help, suggesting Gina try cosmetic fillers. But, for years after having the work done, Gina noticed a horrific reaction. The neurologist was found to have a giant granuloma under her right eye. It turned out that instead of injecting filler, Gina had been injected with silicone. Silicone is not approved by the Food and Drug Administration (FDA) and is illegal to inject. The FDA says that when injected into areas with many blood vessels, silicone can travel through those vessels to other parts of the body and block blood vessels in the lungs, heart, or brain. Gina says she has only experienced the issue on one side of her face but added that no silicone has been found in her left cheek. During her surgery with Dr. Nassif, he said that he found unusual things in her face and also removed what he said looked like a piece of gauze. What do you think about this video? Have you heard of this? Have you or anyone you know experienced this? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to sit high with confidence, rooted on your throne, with strength built from pain not forgotten. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, and hit that bell to receive notifications of when we upload a new video. Also, check out our merch at ezinwine.com.